Hey, 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 everybody. Welcome to Walk It Off, the virtual walking club. My name is Carmina Mez. I am a certified health and walk 15 coach. And today I want to talk to you about declaring war on death. Now, you might be asking yourself, why in the world are we talking about money and finances um, in a health and fitness related um, blog? Well, the reason why I feel it's important to talk on that subject is because, first of all, how you do one thing is how you do everything. How you handle your money is you know, it's reflected in how you handle your relationship, how you handle yourself at work. It's like you're not a different person depending on where you are, at least I hope not. And so, you know, it's important to talk about money. Number two, money is one of the biggest stressors um, that we have in life, right? And so learning how to handle your money correctly and debt being one of the ways that you learn how to manage your finances, it will not only affect your, your wallet, it will also affect your health because you'll be more relaxed, you'll be happier, and therefore you're going to be, ma- you're going to be making healthier choices. Now, um, I am not a financial planner, um, but I am somebody who had experience getting rid of her debt. In one year, I have paid off over, it's been f- over five years now, so I think it was about thirteen, fourteen thousand dollars $14,000 in credit card debt in one year. And I use it using a method that I'm going to um, talk to you um, about today. And so I know that it is definitely doable. And um, I've done it with an income of one while having to pay a mortgage. And I am so proud of the fact that today the only debt that I have is a mortgage. So for me, it's always been a source of really great relief um, and, you know, feeling of accomplishment, in quite honestly. And, and I hope that hearing what you're going to hear today is going to be at least a step forward in the right direction. Because the truth is, I think, I feel that today in America in particular, in the world really, it's not just America, we have become so accustomed to being in debt. It's like we rack up the debt as if it's nothing. Debt is a cancer that creates division and stress and animosity within couples, in households. You know, it's just not worth um, the trouble. However, we've been brainwashed into thinking, thank you for the like, by the way, we've been brainwashed into thinking that, you know, it's just the way things are. It's just the way um, to live. Like, oh yeah, no, we accumulate debt. That's just what we have to do in order to have the things we need to have, right? So I could go on a, on a tangent on that subject. I'm not going to, but I feel that, um, you know, we have become a society who um, does not practice restraint. So if we see something, we want it right now, as opposed to, you know, you know, our parents, our grandparents, they used to save money in order to afford the things they wanted. So I also know that money is a touchy subject for a lot of people and that might generate some not so easy feelings. Um, so it's probably not going to be a favorite post, but I feel one that, you know, we have to talk about. So before you think about um, tackling your debt and no debt is too small to tackle, before you start thinking about tackling your debt, there is one thing you have to do. You have to build a $1,000 emergency fund. It is so important because as you start on your journey of, of paying off your debt, What's going to happen is that life is going to keep on happening. There are going to be emergencies. The car is going to break down. The furnace is going to need to be repaired. So if you don't have that $1,000 emergency fund on the side, it's going to derail your plan 
for getting rid of your debt. So the first step is to build that emergency fund. So depending on what your finances are, that's going to take a little bit of time or it's going to be really easy. Either way, you want to keep that thousand dollar in a location in the, you know, a bank, a checking account that's easy to access because this is not something that, you know, you, it, you're not building wealth with that thousand dollars. It's just there to back you up and to give you peace of mind that when something comes up, you can handle it. So you might be asking, well, where am I going to find an extra thousand dollars? That is a great question. And I'm going to show you a way to do your budget really quickly. So what you want to do, you want to print out, you know, your latest big statement, right? And you want to highlight whatever expense is a necessary expense. So things like your rent, things like your mortgage, um, gas for the car, you know, um, whatever you have to pay for school, you know, like things that you have to have, insurance, things like that. You, those things, these are non-negotiable, right? So once you take that, you subtract it from the net income that you bring on a monthly basis, right? So the net income minus your absolute expenses, right? That will give you a balance. And that balance is what we call fat. And fat is what you're going to use to get yourself out of debt. Well, you're gonna, first you're going to use it to build your emergency fund because remember, you are committed to get out of debt, right? So every, anything that is not necessary in your life, right, you're going to take out, right? So again, it's going to be very unpopular, but cable is not a necessity. So if you're really serious, really serious about getting yourself out of debt, there are certain luxuries that you're currently affording yourself that during that period of time, you're going to go without. I know it's hard, and especially if you are, you know, you're a couple, you're in a relationship, it's going to take some buy-in from your partner, right? So again, do you want to get out of debt? If the answer is yes, then there are some sacrifices. And just remember, it's not going to be forever. It's just till you get yourself out of that predicament, right? So once you determine what your fat is and you have it and you're committed um, to using it for the, bed, the good of your family and of yourself, so first you start building your emergency fund. Once your emergency fund is, reaches $1,000, you set that aside and now you're going to take the fat, that same amount of money, right? And you're going to apply it every month to your smallest credit card bill, not the biggest. I know the tendency is to want to tackle the biggest one first, but I promise you, you're going to get discouraged and you're going to quit. So this method is called the snowball effect. And I'm going to tell you, I'm going to show you why. So you take that fat, let's say you've determined that the, the, your fat is $200 a month, right? That you can, that of unnecessary expenses. So you took that out of the unnecessary expensive and you're applying it to your debt. So let's say you had a credit card that you owe $1,000 on and another one that you owe $10,000 one. Which credit card are you going to tackle first? The $1,000 credit card. It's very important. So you're going to take that $200 that you figure out as fat, right? And every month, you're going to pay $200 towards that, that $1,000 credit card. So now in five months, right? You would have gotten rid of that $1,000 credit card. Gone, out the door. Good, so you're down one. So now you have that $10,000. Let's suppose that the $1,000 debt had a minimum payment, I'm making this up, of um, 50 bucks. Again, I'm making it up, right? Just to make the, the numbers easier. The, the 50 bucks that you were paying every month as like the minimum payment on that thousand dollars, you're going to add it to your fat. So now your fat is 250, right? Make sense? Because you got rid of the thousand dollar credit card. So you have 
200 that was your fat that's the amount of money that is going that was going towards unnecessary expenses and you're going to add it to the minimum payment that you used to pay on your first credit card so now that 250 a month you're going to apply it every month to that ten thousand dollar credit card so i'm not going to go into the math but you can see how simply by shifting your expenses around right and starting with the smallest credit card you know you can get yourself to pay off all your credit cards it's really not that hard right if you really focus and if you're really dedicated you can do it most of us have more than three four credit cards so the same principle applies every time you're down paying one credit card you take the amount of the minimum payment and you tack it on to your fat and that fat will go into the next credit card that's in line right so i'm not saying it's going to be easy but it is so simple you guys so simple if only we put our mind to it and we can do it let me tell you if a single mom with a mortgage in new jersey can pay fourteen thousand dollars in credit card debt in less than a year what can you do you can do it i have full belief in you that you can do it so anyway um i you know i just felt that was so important to share with you um i had an experience um over the last weekend that really triggered it in me and i'm like i really want to share it with those guys because it changed my life um five years ago when i came across that principle I applied it, it worked, and I've never felt better about not owing a penny other than my mortgage. So that's um, my uh, tip for today. And if you want to learn more about this method and, you know, because there's five more steps to get yourself to the point where you're debt free, to the point where you're building wealth, the book that helped me and will help you is called The Total Money Makeover. It's by David, why can I remember his name now? Dave Ramsey. Yes, The Total Make Money Makeover by Dave Ramsey. Really, really, it's, a set, it's written very simply. It explains the principle and it will give you a kick in the butt to get you going and eliminating debt in your life. All right, you guys, that's it for today. I won't be in tomorrow. I, I won't um, be here for our show tomorrow because as I, I told you, share with you yesterday, we are, I am running a five-day challenge um, for my walking group. So you, if you want to join us, there's still time. Click on the sign up button, join us, and I'll see you on the other side. You guys have a great night and I'll see you later. Bye for now.